You're saying that you can't see anything, but can you see anything anyway? Can't see anything anyway. <laughs> well, good afternoon. My name is Dan Gardner. I was born and raised in Bay City, Wisconsin. Bay City was so small that when my dad plugged in as the electric razor, the street lights would dim. Both of them. Bay City was so small that if you did not know what was going on, nothing was. <laughs> Bay City was so small that we did not have a town drunk. So we took turns. <laughs> My mother, who does not appreciate me uh, making jokes about Bay City, uh, said, uh, that's just not true. And I said, no, I know it's not true, Mom. Kelly Peterson was a town drunk. <laughs> and one of my sisters says, no, Warren Anderson was. And one of my other sisters said, no, Jim Hunter was. And my wife said, apparently they did take turns. <laughs> so, uh, Bay City is located on the Mississippi River about 40 miles south of uh, St. Paul. Uh, if you go up I-90, 94, the, uh, you will come to a sign you know, that says Madison, next six exits, and they will come to another sign that says Bay City, no exits. <laughs> Can't get there. Uh, when you come into town on on the road, because it's a river town, so it's the river, the town, the railroad, and then the, the road. The uh, sign says, uh, welcome to Bay City and resume speed. <laughs> there's, only, there's only one road into Bay City. If you take that, this is true, if you hit a, a four-way stop, if you go to the left, it's a dead end. If you go straight ahead, it's a dead end. <laughs> and if you go to the right, you will come to a fork in the road. The left branch is a dead end, and the right branch is a dead end. <laughs> and that is absolutely true. I have pictures to prove that. <laughs> so, uh, the zip code in Bay City is a fraction. Not a whole lot of money in Bay City. The, an economic development group came to town and went door to door to survey the uh, economic position and found out that 47% of the houses did not have doors. <laughs> now, just because you're poor doesn't mean you're not share your, what you have. So one of our neighbors put a box on their porch for Goodwill to come. Goodwill came and took the porch. <laughs> we were so poor that when, my, when we came home from school, my mom would show us a picture of a hostess Twinkie. <laughs> to this day, I do not like hostess Twinkies. They taste like cardboard. <laughs> Not everybody in Bay City was poor. Uh, one of our neighbors uh, put a carpet in their bathroom and they liked it so well they ran it all the way into the house. <laughs> I'll let you explain that to your younger kids. Yeah. Uh, uh, Bay City was a good place to grow up because of the low crime rate. Uh, the reason there was a low crime rate because there wasn't any place to go that you were not supposed to go. You know, we used to go uh, sneak out behind the barn and not do anything. <laughs> My wife hung around the Bay City Square so long that she finally
finally married him. <laughs> True. 53 years. And one of our best products was Lee Gardner. <laughs> Very proud. school in Bay City. Uh, it was a big school that was, uh, had two rooms. Was, uh, the annual school play one year was Goldilocks and the Two Bears. <laughs> the next year it was Mary, Robin Hood and his Merry Man. <laughs> and so forth. Uh, I was the only male in the eighth grade class, and uh, I made the softball team. <laughs> I did. We had a one game season. Lost it. <laughs> and our teacher told us not to feel bad because the other school went the whole season and only won one game and they ended up second from the bottom. <laughs> Whereas we went the whole season and only lost one game, and we ended up second from the top. <laughs> Two story. So, if you're interested in visiting Bay City, I would recommend you do it during the tourist season, which is July 13th, <laughs> from 2 to 4. <laughs> yes, thank you very much, you've been very kind. <laughs> <laughs>